You know, if you told me years ago that the main way people would be playing Gul'dan was a Drain Life build, I never would have believed you. For such a long time, Drain Life was a complete afterthought in Gul'dan's kit until his most recent rework. In today's video, we're diving deep into playing Drain Life and the surprising capabilities it has, especially when you catch someone out of position. This is just one part of our Gul'dan deep dive. If you want to see more, check out the playlist in the video description. And let's jump into today's game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the best map in the video game, Black Hearts Bay. The friendly team today, Gul'dan, Anduin, Sonya, Arthas, and Vala. The enemy team, Diablo, Rainer, Sergeant Hammer, Ana, and Kira. I'm going to do something against this team I probably shouldn't do. And that's going to be the Drain Life build. Diablo has two interrupts, three depending on his ult. Jimmy has one, Sergeant Hammer has one, Ana has one. Everyone has ways of potentially interrupting me and screwing up our fun. But isn't that kind of the scenario you want the build tested in? It's not going to be good in every setup, but how does it do when the cards are stacked against you? Let's find out. First things first, we're going to need to collect region globes. So after the fight in middle lane, we're going to focus all of our efforts on just clearing this lane as fast as possible. And that's something Gul'dan is very good at using his Q ability, Felflame. Our W ability is going to be the focus of our build today. And after picking up 15 region globes, everything in our kit is going to become a bit more mana efficient. So we don't even need to life tap as much as we would have previously. I'm just going to clear the lane immediately and then rotate up. Looks like our Arthas is in a bit of a tussle right now. We'll just chuck a little bit of damage in there. Nothing too crazy. I also can't really deal with Sergeant Hammer just poking me in siege mode. Get my globe and I'll leave. Probably in siege mode now, yep. I'm going to take an early sip here. Uh, coins should be... We have a little bit of time for coins. Looks like there's still a massive fight happening here. Uh, corruption does break the box relatively quickly. Drain life would if you could target it. It's an inanimate object. But unfortunately, we can't take the life from things that have no life. Uh, I want these region globes here, even though there's a fight above me. I have a lot of coins in my pockets, too. I don't want to give those to the enemy team. Uh, but I did need to move in there. Corruption onto the hammer. Deal a little bit of damage using his armor plating to tank a bit here, too. Oh, Arthas, I'm worried for you, bud. You don't have any mana. You're winning that trade, though. Credit where credit's due. That wasn't looking that bad. I'll just go ahead and corrupt that. I think my drain life was immediately interrupted. I wanted to stay out there a little bit more, but with the healing from Ana, that just was not going to be possible. We do have a Sonya down in the bottom lane who's been holding off that Onslaught of minions down there. Kira with all the coins down there. Should be mindful when she's missing. She might be going for a turn in. At level four, we pick up Health Funnel. Drain Life cooldown recharges 100% faster while it's channeling. So you can get into situations like this and just drain. And even the, nice route, very good. And even though you can't see the cooldown of the ability, you'll be able to drain faster if you drain for longer. The other half of that text says if a target dies while you're draining their life, the ability cooldown gets immediately reset. So we can move into a situation like this, drain the life of one of the coin camps and immediately get the ability back to drain the life of the next one too. Good sleep from Ana puts me oh, out of the fight, to be honest, completely, completely out of the fight. So I just want to life tap and then we can get all of our health back simply by killing the minions in lane. We're very, very, very self-sufficient suddenly. Uh, I'm going to try to just walk this one out. Walk that one out. He can still flip me around. Jimmy can still interrupt me. I do have a healer on the way. Oh, I don't have a slow yet though. That would have been nice. Uh, good damage on Diablo so far. Kira jumping in on me is a bit terrifying. We're just gonna drain life now that she's used all of her CC. Level seven is here. Now our drain life is going to slow our enemies as well. So Diablo's gonna have a hard time moving back to his team. 
good root on Kira. I'll try to play off with a... Oh, there's my slow. There's my slow. Can we get him? No, that's okay. I'll try to play off the root with a nice corruption. I am turning in. This will be enough for the first objective for our friendly team. While we've been doing all of this, though, Sergeant fucking Hammer up top is just sieging. Just sieging. Look at that damage. Goodness gracious. Ball is trying to answer it up there, moving in, but just gets pushed away. Let's see if I can do any better. Nope. <laughs> well, that settled that. Diablo's coming to kill me. I need to run. <laughs> Solve that mystery pretty fucking quick. Nope, can't do nothing. Sorry. There's a big congregation of enemies in the middle lane right now. They di just lost their building to the objective. I need five more region globes to finish off our level one quest. Uh, and at least we got one right here. Once our quest is done, we're going to become more mana efficient, which just means I have to life tap less, which we're already so efficient of life tapping. I don't even think that's big of a deal. Um, do we babysit this? Is this our job? Coin camp is up. They are contesting that. I do like that our tank is moving in on that and chipping away at it already. They don't have their boost, so let's drain. Get those coins. Oh, that's a lot of damage coming in. I'm gonna drain life right here. Corruption out. Nice. Wow, I feel very tanky as long as I'm in the right spot when I start the channel. And shit, I was gonna go back. I don't need to go back. Just suck some minions, did. Now we're good. Back in the video game. Level 10 is here. Enemy team might be turning in. They are. Uh, I'm late to the party here, but I'm on my way. Uh, we are going to take Horrify yet again. It is just the best choice for keeping ourselves safe and stopping the enemy team from pushing in. Although, I talked myself out of it. I took the other one. I took the other one. And I'm just gonna use it. <laughs> I'm just gonna use it on Sergeant Hammer. <laughs> That's our plan. Rain of Destruction used to be channeled. It is no longer channeled. So you just pick an area and then the rain will fall for a while, for several seconds on that spot. We don't know where anyone is on the enemy team, so I don't want to push up too far. We have too many coins. Looks like they are pushing bottom. So we'll just back go down there. So for seven seconds, we basically pick an area and we're going to rain down these infernal meteors onto that spot. The reason I thought it might be good in this game is because we do have that Arthas front line. So he's going to be slowing everyone. And secondly, that Sergeant Hammer, very immobile, very likely to just be sitting still in a situation just like this. So I'm going for the channel right now. The fight's mostly over, but let's send in some fireballs anyway. Slowing down Diablo inside the field as well with our drain life means he can't leave that massive area of effect. We're putting our corruptions directly underneath the building. And we don't want to push. Oh, I have coins. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have coins. Okay, I'll turn those in. I'll turn those in before the enemy team response. Okay. Oh, I got ulted. They know where I am now. I have Horus might interrupt me. Also, depending on what Sergeant Hammer went, they went for Napalm, but they could hit me with the BFG and interrupt me. We got our turn in though. That means the top building is going to die. We're gonna life tap a couple times as we're moving back towards our team. Uh, our drain life quest is done, so we should be pretty efficient. I do really love builds that just keep me active on the map for really long spans of time. And it seems like this is designed exactly for that, which is really fun. My ult's off cooldown, so I wanna fight. The enemy team seems to be congregating up top near boss, or at least the only two that we could see. I'm gonna check this coin camp really fast. Again, I should be incredibly efficient at getting this. We just drain life. Look at that. We just hit level 13. Increase healing from uh, our drain life with life harvest. Absolute no brainer there. We're already channeling. Let's heal for more while we're channeling. Uh, I kind of want him to jump on me, so I'm just poking at him for damage, hoping he would take the bait. He didn't take the bait. She did! 
good. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Slow her down. Make sure she can't get away. And then immediately go into channeling the rain of destruction. Sergeant Hammer is going to have to leave. Anna is trying to walk out of there like a little sniper. And every single time we kill someone, I just move up and slow down the next target that we could attack. This is pretty fun. This is a pretty fun way of playing Gul'dan. I remember back when this was the, like, I don't want, nuanced isn't the right word, niche way of playing. This was a very unpopular way of playing Gul'dan. Now, if you look at his most successful builds, Drain Life is almost the entirety of it. I gotta say, I'm a fan. That is that is really, really enjoyable. Uh, rain is not only good in team fights, it's also really, really good for sieging. Because you're raining down on such a wide area, it's very likely that you're gonna hit the hitbox of the tower or fort or whatever you're trying to defend, it's very likely that you're gonna hit it multiple times, especially when we're talking about pushing in on a core. If I can just cast Rain of Destruction, we're gonna be looking at a very significant portion of damage. Uh, and then we could just walk away. We don't even have to follow that in. We, we could just move in and cast and do it. To follow up with that at level 16, which we're getting very soon, we have the Darkness Within talent. So if we deal damage, it'll empower our drain life. It'll, excuse me, it'll empower our life tap, which will give us 25% spell power for five seconds after life tapping. So if we can go in, deal some damage and get this thing to empower, then all of a sudden, 25% more spell damage means that our reign of destruction is dealing 25% more siege damage. And again, if we can get that on top of a core, it is ridiculous how much damage that can do. And it's really not difficult to get this thing empowered either. Just that little bit of damage we did on Diablo there was enough to start it. So I'm gonna pop my trait and just walk up and use my ultimate now. And we can see this really start to come into play. The buildings are falling. Diablo took a buttload of damage there that I don't think he was expecting. And we, j we can repeat that right now, actually. We have Drain Life ready to go. We dealt enough damage to empower our life tap. And then we get critical hits on our Drain Life here. Look at that. That is so fun. Uh, he is about to be slowed again if I can get in range. No, I'll settle for killing the building. Oh God, there's a fucking hammer behind me. Wait, what? What? <laughs> I'm fucked. No! <laughs> You're killing spree, Did Hammer sneak up behind us in Viz, dude, and cut off the escape? That was not the play I was expecting. And it worked. Wow, dude. Wow. If we take a look at our stats to this game, we've done good siege. We've done good hero damage. We've done, done really good self-healing, too. Look at that. On par with Sonya. So we are out of the fight for a little bit. There's no boss that the enemy team could take. There's no big coins up on the map, no chests. But there are enough small camps that they could fire off a barrage if they want to. In fact, right now, they have enough to fire off a barrage if they would like to. Looks like they are trying to siege our building before turning in, and that's really smart, because that means that their objective is going to be dealing damage to our Tier 2s instead of our Tier 1s. I do think they're going for that right now, if we could get over there. Uh, I don't have an Empowered Life Tap ready to go, but that's okay. We'll just delay casting our ult until we do. And we should try to ignore these people up front and just, yeah, get in on the big guys. Slowing him down. Uh, empowering. Okay, I didn't cast it. I didn't cast it. Here we go. Oh, shit. Got interrupted twice by Kira. I should be able to kite this out, though. Hammer with another flank. I'm just going to cast my ult immediately. She's rooted. I need to dodge. Oh, the boomerang. Oh, God. All right, enemy team. All of a sudden, back in a commanding spot here. Four members of the enemy team take it down. We only managed to kill their Kira, or excuse me, their Ana. Kira keeping me preoccupied on the back line there for quite a while. So they do have 12 coins that they're turning in right now, but they have another 11 in their pockets ready to go. That barrage will likely kill off this central building and give them the XP they need for level 20. 
We see Kira up at the top lane. I thought maybe they were eyeballing boss, but 30 seconds left on that until it's ready. So likely just sieging bottom. We have Reign of Destruction ready to go. So as soon as we're up, we just walk towards bottom and drop it. Um, last three. Is it enough? No, just barely holding on. Friendly team starting to respawn now and making their way towards the would-be attackers. Sergeant Hammer slowed so much as Arthas begins his march forward. The roots do connect and the E continues to slow down the siege vehicle. Uh, I am going to take deep impact. We might as well. Uh, Rain of Destruction slows enemies' movement speed by 90%, so anyone that's hit by any of these falling meteors is going to feel it immediately. Uh, I'm going to channel this right here. Assuming they're trying to leave, we don't want them to. They're basically cemented in this area. Repositioning, especially with Arthas up there, is going to be goddamn near impossible. Three members of the enemy team dead, and we have a bunch of pings going out on the core. I don't have my ultimate to kill the core, so I can't show that off. But this is looking like a pretty promising push. Corruption to start things off. We know Kira's looking for me, and I want to give her other targets if we can. The shields have started to fall, but Sergeant Hammer's going to be back up in just a few moments. I got you. I'm slowing her. I'm slowing her. I'm slowing her. Ball, I can kill that. Uh, our life tap is not empowered yet. I'm just going to channel. I'm going to get shot back. That's okay. Maybe I should grab these coins just in case. Just in case we need them. Uh, I'm still on core. I'm still on core. I'm not leaving. Not leaving. Get in here, team. Get in here, team. Get in here, team. Finish it off. Finish it off. Thank you. Oh, my God. I was worried that was getting away from us a little bit there at the end. I was worried that one. God, if we died right there, they had a lot of coins for a lot of turnings. So the drain life build for Gul'dan focuses more on individual sustained. You have a lot more agency over your own health bar, which is super duper fun. One thing I didn't expect with this setup is the amount of slows that you're actually putting on the enemy as you're draining. That was actually really satisfying, really cool character combination with Arthas there. We were just slowing them down so crazy much. Talents you and for in today's video. If it looks like drain life, take it. We also took Raid of Destruction, which again, not the most popular choice. I said I was going to look it up in the last video, but I forgot. 13% pick rate over the last few patches. Yeah, not, not the greatest, but certainly still has its place. Certainly still does a lot of damage. At level 16, Darkness Within. Remember, that amplifies the power of your ultimate as well, so you do want to combo those together. Very, very fun game. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again very soon.